Hello everyone, it's me again, Femory Petil. In today's video, I will tackle Unit 3.3, which is the Cognitive Processes. Module 16, the Revised Bloom's Taxonomy of Educational Objectives. Let's get ready. What do you think Bloom's Taxonomy is? None of you knows it? Then okay, let's find out. Module 16, the Revised Bloom's Taxonomy of Educational Objectives. Who is Benjamin Bloom? Benjamin Bloom is an American educational psychologist at the University of Chicago who developed a classification of learning levels now known as Bloom's Taxonomy with his colleagues. Benjamin Bloom made a significant contributions to the classification of educational objectives and the theory of mastery learning. He was interested in improving student learning. What is Bloom's taxonomy? Bloom's taxonomy is a classification system used to define and distinguish different levels of human cognition. Example given, thinking, learning, and understanding. Educators have typically used Bloom's taxonomy to inform or guide the development of assessments, just like tests and other evaluations of student learning, curriculum, units lesson, projects, and other learning activities, and instructional methods such as questioning strategies. Teachers use this taxonomy to plan lessons. In 1956, Benjamin Bloom together with his collaborators and colleagues published a framework for categorizing educational goals. The Taxonomy of Educational Objectives The Bloom's Taxonomy is the framework has been applied by generations of K-12 teachers and college instructors in their teaching. Educators often use Bloom's taxonomy. Why? Because just to create learning outcomes that target not only subject matter but also the depth of learning they want students to achieve. In other words, Bloom's taxonomy is a hierarchical ordering of cognitive skills that can among countless and other applications, help teachers teach and the pupils will learn. The Original Taxonomy Bloom's Taxonomy was originally published in 1956 by a team of cognitive psychologists at the University of Chicago. It is named after the committee's chairman, Benjamin Bloom, 1913-1999. The original taxonomy was organized into three domains, cognitive, affective, and the psychomotor. Cognitive domain concerned with thinking and intellect, while affective, affective domain concerned with feeling and emotion, and the psychomotor domain concerned with skill behavior. Framework elaborated by Bloom and his collaborators consisted of six major categories. Six major categories. Educators have primarily used focus rather on the cognitive model, which includes six different classification levels. Number one, which is the knowledge. Number two, comprehension. Three, application. Four, analysis. Five, synthesis and number six evaluation just like what i said earlier the bloom's taxonomy was published in 1956 together with benjamin's colleagues and it is named after benjamin bloom it is organized into three domains which is the cognitive affective and the psychomotor the cognitive domain aims to develop the mental skills Example, a child recites an English alphabet, so that is a cognitive domain. 
Affective domain involves our feelings, emotions, and attitudes. Examples are to comply with, to follow, to commend, to volunteer, to spend leisure time in, to acclaim. While the psychomotor domain includes the physical movement and the motor skills. Did you know that the first three elements, knowledge, comprehension, and application, represent lower levels of cognition and learning, while analysis, synthesis, and evaluation are considered higher order skills? And now let's talk about the original taxonomy on 1956. The six major categories of the original taxonomy. Number one, knowledge. It involves the recall of specifics and universals, the recall of methods and processes, or the recall of a pattern, structure, or setting. For example, name three common types of meat. In simple words, knowledge is the ability of learners to recall data and information. Number two, comprehension. Refers to a type of understanding or apprehension such that the individual knows what is being communicated and can make use of the material or idea being communicated without necessarily relating to it other material or seeing its fullest implications rather. For example, Summarize the defining characteristics of stick, pork, and chicken. In other words, comprehension assesses the ability of the learner to understand the meaning of what is known. Number three, application. Refers to the use of abstractions in particular and concrete. For example, does eating meat help improve longevity? Application refers to the ability to use learner material, learned material rather, in new and concrete situations. This may include the application of such things as rules, methods, concepts, principles, laws, and theories. Learning outcomes in this area require a higher level of understanding than those under comprehension. Number 4. Analysis represents the breakdown of communication into its constituent elements or parts such that the relative hierarchy of ideas is made clear and or the relations between ideas expressed are made ex explicit. For example, compare and contrast the different types of meat. Analysis means to break down materials into its component parts. Number 5. Synthesis involves the putting together of elements and parts so as to form a whole. Example, convert an unhealthy recipe for meat into a healthy recipe by replacing certain ingredients. Argue for the health benefits of using the ingredients you can choose as opposed to the original ones. Synthesis, in other words, refers to combining and putting together of ideas to form something new. Number 6. Evaluation. Judgments about the value of material and methods for given purposes. For example, which kinds of meat are best for making a healthy meal and why? In simple words, evaluation is making a judgment about the value of ideas. For you to be able to understand the six major categories of the cognitive domain, here are some example activities. Number one, for knowledge, to know or to recall. The example activities are question and answer sessions, workbooks, and worksheets. Number two, comprehension, explaining and understanding. Example activities are restate the recent reasons for weather changes. Summarize the story. Number three, application or using ideas. Example activities are simulation activities, 
role playing or role reversal and conducting experiments number four analysis or breaking down example activities are comparing and contrasting recognizing logical fallacies in reasoning distinguishing between facts and inferences number five synthesis or forming a new whole example activities are writing a creative story poem or song proposing a plan for an experiment integrating the learning from different areas into a plan for solving a problem number six evaluation or judging example activities are accepting or rejecting ideas based on standards judging the logical consistency of written material and evaluating one's own products and ideas and here are some action words or verbs from the six major categories of cognitive domain for the number one which is the knowledge remember previously learned information the verbs are arrange define describe duplicate identify label list match memorize name order outline recognize relate recall repeat reproduce and select for the number two comprehension demonstrate an understanding of the facts verbs are classify convert defend describe discuss distinguish estimate explain express extend generalize give examples identify indicate impair locate paraphrase predict rewrite review select summarize and translate number three application apply knowledge to actual situations the verbs are apply change choose compute demonstrate discover dramatize employ illustrate interpret manipulate modify operate practice predict prepare produce relate show sketch solve use and write number four analysis break down objects or ideas into simpler parts and find evidence to support generalizations the verbs are analyze appraise break down calculate categorize compare contrast criticize diagram differentiate discriminate distinguish examine experiment identify illustrate infer model point out questions relate select separate subdivide and test number five synthesis compile component ideas into a new whole or propose alternative solutions the verbs are arrange assemble compose construct create design develop categorize collect combine comply device explain formulate generate plan prepare rearrange relate reorganize revise rewrite set up summarize synthesize fail and write for the number six evaluation make and defend judgment based on internal evidence or external criteria the verbs are appraise argue assess attach choose compare conclude contrast defend describe discriminate estimate evaluate explain judge justify interpret relate rate select summarize support and value